Yeah, that's right, Jeff. They are ready for their day in court. And when they go to court, what they're asking a judge or a jury to decide is for them to get a payout from their landlord so they can move out of this complex. A drive across the friendly village mobile home park is the first clue something here isn't right. A closer look and you'll see the ground is sinking. There are signs of it everywhere. Even the piping under the fire hydrants is exposed. This is where we were planning to live um, the rest of our days. Sylvia Martinez and her husband moved here in 1996. Her home is now buckling. She says methane is coming up from the ground and she doesn't know what to do. We need to be heard. I mean, what comes of it, God only knows, but somebody needs to know what's really going on here. Sewers backing up, sewers coming in your bathroom, in your showers. I mean, it's nasty. It's gross. Friendly Village Mobile Home Park was built on a landfill back in the 1970s. A new landlord recently purchased the property, and residents say they've jacked up the rent and have let the property deteriorate. Residents filed a lawsuit against Court and Scott Financial Group and Sierra Corporate Management Group, essentially accusing them of being slumlords. How would you like your mother to be living here? How would you like your mother to be living here? Millie Bajarano is a retiree from the Long Beach School District. This was my dream home after working so many years. The state has issued violations to the property owners, but as of now, the only real recourse residents say they have is their day in court. I've been here 22 years, and that's a long time to see this day after day. We reached out to the management company and to their attorneys. We were told no comment on this story. The case goes to court tomorrow. Reporting live in Long Beach, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.